Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on projection of sectional solids where the question is given a hexagonal prism base 30 mm side and axis 70 mm has a rectangular face on the HP with its axis parallel to VP a vertical section plane is inclined at 45 degree to VP cut it at a point on the axis 20 mm in front of one end you have to draw the top view, sectional front view and the true shape of the section. So let's begin. Firstly, I'll explain with this 3D software that is Tinkercad. So first we have considered a hexagonal prism. So this is a hexagonal prism with base 30 and the axis height is 70 mm. Now the question says that it has a rectangular face on the HP. So as you can see, so these are all the rectangular faces. First, I'll just change the color. So, these are the rectangular faces. And now, it is on the HP. So, this is how the position of the hexagonal prism is. So, the face, the rectangular face as you can see, it is resting on the HP. And also, the question says that its axis is parallel to VP. So, this is the only position possible where the rectangular face is on the HP and it axis is parallel to VP. So I'll convert this now into orthographic plane. So this will be the front view, the normal front view. This will be the top view. And this will be the left hand side view and the right hand side view. So this will be the side view will be a hexagon. So first we will draw the side view while drawing the figure. Now the further the question says a vertical plane inclined at 45 degree to VP cuts it at a point on the axis 20 mm in front of one end. So as this hexagon has two ends so from any one end we can cut this. So first I am rotating this cutting plane at an angle of 45 degree. So this is how it can be placed. So the front part will be cut. So its front view we will get the cut part. So this is how we can place it. Or we can also place it on the other end as well. So this is how I have cut it. So this will be the front view. This will be the sectional top view. This will be the side view. And this will be the true shape. So this will be at an angle. This will be the true shape. So now let's begin with actual drawing the sum. So firstly, as per the question given, we have a hexagonal prism with the dimensions given so first we always draw a vertical line but here in this case we will first draw the side view that is the hexagon so for that I have taken the radius as 30 which is the side and using that side I will draw the hexagon so I have drawn the circle with radius 30 then I am marking the horizontal line straight line now starting from this point I will start cutting the sides of the circumference of the circle so as per the question its rectangular face should be on the HP so for that we have drawn the shape like this so that its base will be a straight line so as now you can see this hexagon is resting on one of its rectangular faces so this line will be HP now this hexagon it has two sides upper side and the bottom side so this a and b it is resting on this a and b side marking the sides as a b c d e f now i will draw the center line so this line will be the x y line upper one will be the vp that is the front view will be seen and bottom will be the hp now we will draw the front view using this so taking its projection on the side so first we have drawn this side view as you can see we have seen in the earlier GIF also now the front view has the distance of 70 millimeter so its distance will be 70 millimeter so this is the height 70 millimeter which will be in the front view this is nothing but the height we have taken from the side view so in this question we have first drawn the side view and now we are drawing the front view 
so this front view its rectangular face is on the hp this line will also be dark as it is the edge line of the prism now we'll draw the top view so we'll take the projections from the front view downwards towards the top view and from the side view we will draw the 45 degree angle line and we'll take the projections from the side view that is the hexagon to the 45 degree angle line and from the 45 degree angle line towards the top view now this is where the top view of the prism will be it will also be a rectangle so this is the rectangle and it will have two dark lines also i'm not drawing it dark as we need to cut it out so i'll do it later i'm taking the center line also now for marking the dimensions so in the hexagon in the side view i have marked a b c d e f so this side will be a dash b dash this will be f dash c dash will be e dash d dash now here i'll make it dark or can keep it like that as later it will get cut so this is the top view of the hexagon now further the question says that it is cut at a sectional plane of 45 degree to vp at a point 20 mm from one end so it can be either here or it can be other end also so this is the angle so if i keep the angle like this and cut it out so in the front view the hexagon shape will not be visible as it will be back side you can cut like this also at an angle of 45 degree from the distance of 20 from other end again the front view will not be visible the hexagon so you can cut like this also this is 20 or you can cut like this so i'll cut any one side where the front view will be visible the cut part so in this case the cut part will be back side so i'm marking the dimensions 20 mm so if you do it here the section plane will be like this the true shape will be on the left if we cut like this the true shape will be on the right so i'm taking this thing i'm marking the dimension from the 20 from this end so the true shape will be on the right side i'll just mark it now the sectional plane is at an angle of 45 degree so this is already 45 degree i'm cutting this plane so marking it so this is how it is cut so this part is totally cut off so the remaining part is dark now as per the dimensions the intersection this will be a double dash b and b dash intersection this point will be b double dash c and c intersection will be c double dash d and d intersection will be d double dash and likewise this will be e double dash and f double dash now as per the cut section we will take the projections from the top view towards the front view where it intersects the lines of the hexagon so from that intersections i am taking the projections upward towards the front view so wherever this cut line is intersecting i have taken the projections upward i'll make this lines dark so this will be the visible part the other part is cut off from the slant line on the right side the part is cut off this is the remaining part and these are the edges of the hexagon now we have taken the projections upward now this line projection we will take it on the side view as it will be visible on the side view so taking this as a reference parallel line the point of intersection i am taking it on the 45 degree angle line and form the 45 degree angle line upwards towards the side view so this is the shape as you can see in the image also in the three dimensional i have cut the section on the other side so it is differently looking 
now taking this projections here from the side view towards the front view now marking the points now for marking the points you can use 1 and 2 here then the intersection this will be 1 dash 2 dash this will be 1 double dash 2 double dash or you can use here 1 dash 2 dash and bottom side 1 double dash 2 double dash now this hexagon is placed so this intersection where D and D double dash intersects this point I'll mark it as 3 double dash where E and E double dash intersects I'll mark this as 4 double dash then F double dash and F intersection I'll call it as 5 double dash then likewise other parts also 6 double dash and finally this part will be 7 double dash so we have got all these points so from the front view this is the shape which will be cut out so this is now forward if you have taken the slice backward side so this part would not have been visible I wanted visible so I have cut it the slice like this making this section lines as the cut part represents the section lines now to draw the true shape it will be on the bottom side so for drawing the true shape first I will draw a line parallel to this line cutting plane here this will be x dash y dash line now drawing the perpendicular lines from the cutting plane so I first I will mark this point as 3 dash 7 dash this will be 6 dash 4 dash this will be 5 dash now from these points I will take the projections downward the perpendicular lines so from this point first I will mark a 90 degree angle draw a line and through that reference line I will draw the perpendicular lines from all the points cutting the top view now for the true shape this is this line taking the distance and see how I am keeping the pointer where now this is 5 dash and I am keeping the pointer here cut it this will be 5 point then 6 and 7 is already on the edge so this point will be 6 this will be 7 then 1 double dash point I am taking this distance see how I am tracing the line this line keeping the pointer here cut it this will be 1 and finally from this end to 2 double dash trace the line this line this will be 2 then from here 3 double dash to 7 double dash distance I have taken tracing the line keeping the pointer here cut it on this line this will be 3 then this distance is same 6 to 4 tracing the line keeping the pointer on the x dash y dash line cut it this will be 4 now joining this section will give me the true shape of the cut plane so joining this all these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 drawing this hash lines which represents the section plane and we are totally done with the sum marking the dimensions writing here the sectional front view this is the side view this is the sectional top view this is the true shape of the section thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram